Elon Musk has been a success story for as long as his name has been in the news. Since his debut with PayPal, the South African business magnet has successfully invented several business ideas. So you could have made Google. We, we could have made something, I think, similar to Google. Um... The now richest man on earth is the leading man in technology. His famous energy and electric automobile company, Tesla, is the most successful electric vehicle manufacturer globally. They have a monopoly, even with very few models to their name. They've broken so many pre-order records that it is no longer a secret that they hold a monopoly on the electric automobile industry. The Tesla brand offers a packed electric car that is fitted with top quality technologies. Currently, there is no one doing the autopilot and self-autonomy vehicles like the rest. Elon Musk also owns SpaceX, the company that is the first private space exploration organization to go to space. They have collaborated with NASA and continue their quest to bring space tourism closer. Their reusable rockets have become the strategic way to reduce waste and explore space safer and less harmful. Elon Musk has been on a mission to colonize Mars and is continuously working towards that. He envisions a time when humans lived on Mars and fulfilled their inquisitions of what space offers. The process of achieving this feat of life on Mars is quite expensive. Elon Musk has decided to fund his space exploration work by starting another arm of the company. The new stream is called Starlink. Starlink is under the umbrella of SpaceX as a high-speed satellite internet service. The satellite company transports satellites of internet companies into space and puts them there to beam connectivity down on Earth. This is another industry that existed before Elon Musk decided to join. Today, Starlink uses reusable rockets, which reduces the cost of the trip and the services offered. As is expected, that industry has been thoroughly disrupted by Musk and his genius ideas. Starlink is a subsidiary of SpaceX. It's already estimated to be worth $100 billion. It is one of the most valuable businesses held privately. Musk estimates that the company will bring in $50 billion each year. What is impressive is that Starlink started operating two years ago, and now they have 1,740 satellites in the sky for internet connectivity through radio waves. The company hopes to extend the internet to the whole world under this project. When that works, they will have made internet connectivity faster since satellite internet is faster than fiber optic cables. The satellite internet travels at the speed of light and the radio waves hit faster. The company has also made it a point to put the satellites closer to Earth than other satellite companies have. That increases customer satisfaction and delivery strength. They also ship satellites from other companies into space for them. Starlink has 100,000 subscribers to its internet services. Two years should tell you the extent people are willing to go to see their internet travel faster. The customers continue to grow because of the swiftness of the internet and the service that Starlink provides. Starlink is available in 19 countries. They have made such an impact in those countries that they are shutting down other internet companies. They are confident that they will achieve global coverage soon and take over the market entirely. The company produced 250,000 dishes annually and 5,000 dishes per week for new subscribers. The dish has a monthly subscription of $99 and costs $499 to purchase. This might not be the profit margin Elon Musk wants, but trust him to keep the strategy. The monthly subscriptions begin low now will make him money when he goes global. The grand business scheme and strategy of Musk remains a mystery, but we know what he does. With the business accolades that precede Musk, you will wonder why he will need to team up with another giant for business. Google is a search engine, an online market field. It is the leading company in both industries. Google has made so much money from the market that its slow returns now cannot cancel the sufficient fortune it has made now. Google has cloud service, and that is what has won the partnership. Google's cloud will supply networking and computing resources to support Starlink in delivering satellite internet services to their clients. 
Google, which also owns YouTube, confirms that this partnership is one in a million. The primary partnership will see Starlink install their ground stations inside Google data centers to connect the Starlink satellites. The enterprising clients of Starlink can be assured of ultra-fast internet once this partnership takes its entire course. The partnership will not take long to materialize. As Starlink exited its beta mode in October, the two teams will start showing the power of collaboration to the clients of Starlink. The two companies have a working history. When SpaceX started receiving investments in 2015, Google was one of the first to support the business. Google invested $900 million into SpaceX. The money was to cover some technology building, including making the satellites for the company itself. Google Cloud, although it is one of the leading sources of cloud technology, has some competition. They have to face competition from the online retail giants Amazon and Microsoft, the world's leading cloud computing company. Google has had a slow couple of years amid all this competition. It is up to them to diversify quickly and save themselves from stagnant growth. Their revenue is no longer looking promising from the advert business, and this cloud business with Starlink could raise their revenue. For once, Starlink will be delivering the Google Cloud computing service to clients at high speed. The connection will make both Google and Starlink benefit from the same speed delivery. Google considers this partnership a big deal. It is already setting things up for the first base, their new Albany, Ohio station. Since May, they have been working towards the partnership when it was first announced that they could eventually be working with Starlink. The partnership will move to other data centers in the U.S. before connecting to the rest of the world. It will also be favorable for Starlink's global reach they have been working on. The two have natural chemistry for working on things that benefit both of their companies. Whomever Google signs on to its service becomes a client of Starlink. The Starlink market has been closed off and limited to residential access only. This new deal with Google will ensure that their market margins widen. The clients getting access to Google and Starlink through a single contract makes the process less cumbersome. They also get access to Google Cloud service in any location they are in. This means that the troops at the North Pole can still receive their internet at high speed. Moreover, the Google Cloud infrastructure will help these researchers and companies get better applications than their local computers. The Starlink and Google partnership does not come as a surprise, especially after mentioning their initial monetary interaction in 2015. Executives on both sides of the company have praised the partnership because it benefits their target audiences and organizations. Clients who subscribe to the service get reliable internet and Google Cloud service as a plus. The initial deal is going to last seven years. The years involved are only formalities, as the two companies have said through insiders that if the deal goes well, they will not hesitate to renew the partnership. According to the inside sources, Azure, a Microsoft company, has collaborated with Starlink. The company has been trying to get satellite internet connectivity to its modular cloud data center. If the deal with Azure goes through, they will still have a Google partnership in the mix. Google will now oversee the activities of Azure. The partnership structure creates schemes and strategies that are of excellent and high value to the overall business. Musk made a tweet to suggest that we will be getting internet connectivity on our flights. Musk has promised to speak to commercial airlines to receive low latency, have gigabyte internet connectivity on flights. This tweet from Elon Musk comes after the vice president of SpaceX also said the company had approached different commercial airlines and model internet services on a plane will soon be released. With this in mind, we can expect an excellent chance to have an ultra-fast internet on flights. The power that Starlink and Google combined will produce is beyond what we are describing. We have to wait for it to see the full impact of this partnership. This partnership with the aviation industry is another significant step in the right direction for the world of tech partnerships led by Elon Musk. What is your assertion to this power partnership? What do you imagine going wrong if these two companies come together? Comments, your thoughts and reactions to anything below.